a new day in Gunnison. Just been catching up with the family and doing a few bits and pieces. And now we are finishing the last few bits of the bison. So cutting up the ribs and the shin bone and stuff like that. So yeah, we're making something called Rubikis, which is something that um, our family kind of invented years ago in South Africa using beef, which is where you cut the ribs crossways, some meat and marinate it. Check it out. <coughs> took the ribs from the bison and just cut them across the ribs um, and it's just curry, turmeric, chili, lots of vinegar, onion, garlic. Um, we'll just let them marinate for a couple of days and we'll cook them on the on the barbecue, on the grill, on the braai. Nice. Good. So this is like a cooking series. <laughs> Welcome to Andy Ivy's cooking show. <laughs> the next up we have Big Papa's American Fillet. And, and the trend of the recipes is 95% uh, red meat and a load of spices and we're good to go. <laughs> this is a family recipe that our grandfather used to make. Um, we always try to carry on when we and stuff. Okay, we need some eggs. <laughs> Precise measurement there. What's that you're putting in there, Andy? Wish to shy a shosh. Some Liam Perrins. The original. Okay, so we got homemade mayonnaise in the making. So it's egg, garlic, pepper, grape oil and sunflower oil. Grape seed. Grape seed oil. Well, if you got any of your homemade, just your mustard seed mustard. Yeah. Let's put a little bit of that in here. Okay. We just do this. of parsley or yeah. herbs in there. Nice. Looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Check out this mayo. That's great. So it just needs the mustard in there. Pretty much see what you guys think. So that American fillet is then served with homemade chips and you eat it raw. It's a French Belgian thing. It's great. What's 
the verdict point. I would put a bit more salt, and then once you've got the mustard in, I think it'll be good. Nice. So we're just on our way out to Andy and Joni's property here. Uh, the thing is, we got the bison hunt done so quickly. Andy has a few more days off work, uh, and I have quite a few, oh, nearly two weeks actually here in Gunnison before I fly back home. So I'm going to use the time to catch up on some stuff, catch up with some hunting friends over here, and uh, just get some stuff done on Andy's house. So that should be pretty cool. There's a lot of little work to go in. It goes super quick. So it was one day for the floor after you had the concrete basement in? Yeah, one full day to build the floor system and then put the base plate out and then in two days we had the perimeter around. And then we had the day putting the roof beam in and the, and the pole. And then we had two more full days, two and a half days of putting roof panels on. Nice which was time consuming and as two of us roped up onto the roof, one guy on the ground putting them together and then yeah. one guy craning them up. And then when it's up there, um, you're screwing them all together and every beam on the roof, there are four, four foot sections. Every four foot section has an LVL beam in, which is a laminated beam. It's okay. one, one and one eighth thick by 14 inches deep, no, 12 inches deep. Yeah. And that's your structure. So every, every joint here, there's a, basically a beam hidden inside that. Okay. I mean, you could put another house on top. It's ridiculously over engineered, mm -hmm. but. And it's a steep angle as well. Yeah, it's a 12, 12 pitch, it drops 12 inches every foot. No walking around up there. up at the house and now we are back in Gunnison in town gonna hang out for a bit grab something to eat <laughs> getting the ribs ready, ready for Thanksgiving and then getting American fillet ready. It was a really good meal tonight. And uh, yeah, it was fun helping Andy with some stuff at the house. But it's now bedtime, so I'll catch you guys in the morning. But yeah, tomorrow's gonna be a fun day with more stuff going on, more adventure. So yeah, catch you in the morning. Cheers. <laughs>